My name is Johan de Koning. I'm from uh, the cluster IAR, Industry and Agro-Resources from France. We are a cluster uh, that uh, uh, aims to, uh, uh, to optimize the valorization of the biomass for its members. We are the, the, the cluster of the agro-industry in France. In, with uh, members such as uh, uh, the group Avril, Rocket, Soufflet, Terreos, Le Safre, Bonduel, uh, all, all uh, the industry that uh, produce uh, uh, biomass and transform it for food and non-food purposes. And obviously today, uh, since we are at the Protein Summit, we are focusing as well in the, protein, uh, transfer, uh, in the production of protein from biomass. Our members uh, who are transforming the biomass have identified the, the protein uh, and plant-based protein as a, a, a sector that, uh, that, that need to be uh, developed more in, in Europe uh, due to uh, the fact that uh, all studies show that the, uh, we can have an issue with, uh, with protein in the future. And then uh, we have decided uh, in, our, in, in our cluster to develop uh, a sector which is called protein for the future, new sources of protein, uh, whether it is from plant or animals such as insect or uh, whatever other uh, source of protein uh, that uh, could be developed. The idea is to feed, let's say, uh, uh, the world in 2030 or 2050. Well, the, the reason why uh, uh, IER is supporting uh, the Protein Summit is because uh, our members have identified the protein sector as a very um, uh, trendy market for the future because we need to feed uh, the, the world, let's say, uh, by uh, 2030. And uh, all studies show that protein could be an issue, let's say, in the future. This is why we have decided in our cluster, uh, in our roadmap, to, to raise, let's say, uh, a group uh, for uh, dev to develop uh, protein of the future, whether they are coming from plant uh, or other sources such as insect, uh, algae, and so on. IER is a cluster. A cluster in France is a network, network of companies, R&D centers, and universities. Uh, uh, the, the, the good part of IER is that we cover the whole value chain, from production uh, of biomass with co-ops, such as Vivesia, such as uh, Terios or Soufflet, and other companies that uh, as well, or agro-industry that are transforming this biomass, Soufflet, Roquette, uh, Avril, uh, Terios, uh, Crystal Union, Vivesia, are all companies that are transforming that biomass into product for food and non-food industry as well. But uh, today we are for the protein uh, sector. And around that, you have uh, all kind of companies that, uh, from uh, manufacturers, people that are manufacturing uh, starch or on other product, food product, uh, such as Algama for uh, algae uh, extract, uh, uh, specialists of extraction uh, from biomass to do specialty ingredients, uh, health, uh, natural ingredient, And uh, as well, we have uh, people uh, that are providing all the equipment to transform that biomass as well. We cover the whole value chain, that means from, uh, let's say, the production of the biomass until the market. I would say that the challenge of this sector are as well opportunities for the sector because uh, aging population, uh, a challenge to feed uh, 9 billion or 10 billion, depend the studies you're looking for in 2050, uh, would mean that there is a lot of opportunities for to create new ingredients, new protein, new uh, food to feed that per people, especially for aging, for sportsmen uh, and so on. Uh, we have, let's say, a huge opportunity to create, let's say, uh, uh, new markets. And this is really an opportunity for those who has the capability to uh, really to, to transform the biomass and all kind of raw material into food product.